Hunter Alliance here, and today we're gonna be at Posh Pop Bakery in New York City, yes, Posh Pop Bakery, taking on their Take the Cake Challenge. So we're gonna have 15 minutes to complete the challenge, which consists of a slice of each of their different cakes. Uh, they have a variety of standards plus a, a revolving cake depending on the season. Um, so yeah, pretty much 15 minutes to get the cakes for free. If not, I think it's about 60 bucks. Um, it's going to be a lot of cake. Apparently, these cakes are super moist, super delicious, super you know creamy icing, really nice richness to them. Um, but apparently, they also weigh like half to three quarters of a pound each. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of cake. Not a lot of time. Um, this is actually a world famous gluten free bakery and one of the top cake shops in New York City. So with that, let's go get you some more info. Let's have fun, let's eat food. Let's get eating some cake. Hi everyone, so here we are with all the cakes. Looks very, very, very delicious. Um, I, it has been a long time since I've had a cake challenge. Actually, I don't think I've ever done a just straight cake challenge. So, what about you? Uh, ice cream with cake on top, but no yeah. uh, straight cake. No, so this is super unique, guys. And again, this is definitely one of the most popular cake bakeries here in New York City. So I'm so excited we get to actually try this. So in front of us, guys, we have an ube cake. Yes, I'm talking ube all around, icing, ube crumbles, and also the cake itself. We then have a chocolate, peanut butter, and the nem. Chocolate cake, peanut butter icing, and the nems on it. Sounds very, very delicious. We have a carrot cake, guys, you know, with everything, you know, walnuts, all the good stuff in there. We have a dark, tall, and handsome. Yes, we're talking chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Specifically, guys, we have a chocolate ganache, we have a chocolate buttercream icing, and a chocolate cake. We then have the Funfetti, which is a vanilla custard cake with a buttercream icing on it. And then we also have the kind of seasonal cake, which is a maple pumpkin pecan. We're talking a pumpkin cake, maple icing, candy pecan. Scott. Are you ready? Oh, I'm, yes, absolutely. So, Can't wait. So each of these slices are actually about a half pound each, which might not sound like a lot, guys, but these are giant, dense cakes. And you don't realize how difficult a cake is to eat in large quantities. So that's about it. Really, we got to have luck for this one. This is going to be crazy. Um, I don't know. Scott, 20 minutes. Think we can do it? I mean, there's only one way to try. That's it. So how about we get started here just momentarily? All right, guys, so how about we get started? Um, 20 minutes. So how about we say the count of five? Or, well, I don't really know where to start. Uh, maybe with the tall, dark, and tall, handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. That's right? a good place to start. Yeah. All right, guys. So how about we get going here? And uh, cheers, Scott. Cheers. Three, two, one. Let us go. Mm. Woo. That is nice and rich. Man. Talk about chocolate. Mm. Very moist. Very moist. Woo! Thank you now. It was a very tall piece of cake there. They were big. Nice and thick. And handsome. Mm -hmm. It was a handsome cake. Mm -hmm. Never thought I'd be calling a piece of cake handsome. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Zudor. Today we're here at Posh Pop, a world famous gluten free bakery in New York City. Today we are taking on their Take the Cake Cake Challenge. So for this, we have to eat one of each of their cakes to win. Getting this fun fatty. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Woo! Dude. Yeah. Vanilla custard. That cake is delicious. I just love. Mmm. I actually like it. The way these are layered, oh, it's just pick it up. Mm. The buttercream ice is really nice. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. It's not overpowering, it just adds to the cake. The main difficulty of this challenge came with the 15 minute time limit. If not, we'd be facing about $60 for all the cakes, but I will say they were very, very delicious, but man, they were sweet, they were decadent, and trying to eat this much sugar in one sitting can be quite difficult. I don't think it is sugar free though, but it's really good nonetheless. <laughs> The cakes themselves were super, super moist, and I love the diversity of the flavors, like having the ube, you know, having the maple, walnut, like all that stuff was just super, super, super awesome, and definitely worth a stop on by. I'm gonna hop over to this peanut butter M&M. Mm. Mm. Oh man, peanut butter. Yeah? Woo, that icing, 
I'm getting after you here. Hot den. Each piece is like three pieces. It's that high and they're stacked. Whew. You guys should see how high these are. Like six inches? Crazy. It's like the camera doesn't do it justice. I will say, perfect amount of icing on these two, man. Mm -hmm. Like, everything's so much flavorful, but it's not excess. It's the perfect amount. There's a lot of natural commentary in the video, so pretty much I'll leave you to it. But that's about it, guys. 15 minutes. Hopefully, we'll eat all the pieces of cake to get the meal for free. And we're just over three minutes in. But at that comment down below, which piece of cake you think would be your favorite? And ultimately, eventually, if we get to them all, Scott and I will also be able to tell you what our favorite are. So tune into the rest of the video. Let me know what your favorite piece of cake on the tray is down below. And at that, let's see what happens. So, mm -mm -mm. Very delicious. I'm gonna go to the scuba bag cake. So, ube, if you're not familiar, very popular in a lot of Asian cuisines. It's actually a root vegetable. Some people say it carries like caramel, coconut kind of flavors. Yeah. I think chocolate. Mm. But very, very good. Yeah, the more, it's got a very moist. It's okay. Very much. Mm -hmm. I love that flavor. Like you said, some kind of like some people say caramel coconut. I give it some chocolate. That icing, definitely some cream cheese action. That crumble. It's almost got a tropical flavor. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, this so definitely a rich piece. Very decadent. But I really like the flavor of it. Oh, right there. Yeah, that is a, that is a rich piece. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the richest one yet. Yes. Yeah. All right, we are just over five minutes in. You get like almost like a cream cheese. Definitely. Yeah, it would be a cream cheese. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. I'm about to try this maple pumpkin pecan. This looks so fantastic, guys. Maple icing. Candy pecans. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like that maple. The pumpkin picture is nice. All this cake is really nicely made. Very moist. It is, yeah. I mean, they like they like sell out. They like they're known for like sell by the whole cake. They sell out all the time. How about that? Really impressed with the pumpkin. It reminds me of like a coffee cake, but it's just like perfect for the fall season. And it's not as sweet as the ube. It's very, very nice and palatable. <laughs> Get rid of the papers there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, here we have carrot cake. I'm a big carrot cake person. I love carrot cake. So you save the best for last. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Huge walnut pieces in there. Big chunks. Big chunks. But it's very, very good. 
All right. Got ice in as well. Nice and rich. They are, all the icings are kind of familiar, but they seem to have like a, a unique flavor to them as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's so good. It reminds me, same thing, I think it reminds me of cream cheese. There's a cream cheese icing on it. There you go. Which is, you know, very standard for a carrot cake. They're doing it real well. I like this. Some carrot cakes are just too sweet. This one is perfect. Mm -hmm. Definitely very decadent though. Last bite. Well, cheers. Celebratory, guys. Cakes are for celebrations. We're in the celebration. All right. And we are sitting at almost nine minutes. So, cheers, dude. Cheers. Good? Perfect, guys. Uh, Just finished up. So about nine minutes, five seconds. Very, very delicious. Yes. Scott, what was your favorite, dude? I love finishing with the carrot cake. Honestly, they were all really good. Uh, I was very, I think that's my first time having ube, so I was very pleasantly surprised it's by good, that. It's good, right? Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I think those two probably my favorite. Uh, what about you? You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but that fun fetty cake. Really? Dude, it was so oh, good. Yeah, yeah. It was so good. Like, I know it's like, trust me, some people might call it a little simplistic. Vanilla cake, you know, buttercream icing. But it was damn good. Yeah. And it wasn't just like a vanilla cake. It was like a vanilla custard cake. Just a great flavor. It was really just, I don't know, like almost reminiscent of like kind of childhood in a way. But I mean, you know, I, I gotta say the rest of the flavors were fantastic. The uh, pumpkin, the maple pumpkin pecan just really brought forth yeah. this kind of fall, kind of autumn flair, um, which I think was just very well suiting to, you know, kind of what's been in the weather. That's right, yeah. You want fall, you know, it's Thanksgiving, that's definitely what I'm feeling with that cake there. The ube was absolutely fantastic. It was delicious. Yeah. I really like ube flavoring. Like I said, some people say coconut caramel mixtures. I get little bits of chocolate, hints of chocolate in I there. Hints of chocolate, for sure. And I tell you, just like the pairing with the different icing, Really, really, really enjoyed that. The M&M uh, peanut butter, the peanut butter chocolate M&M, similarly, great flavor on the icing. Yeah. It was yeah. just the perfect amount of peanut butter. It wasn't overly rich. Yeah. It was just like absolutely well, well, well balanced. And I mean, I also, I, I guess I'm pretty much talking about all of them. Not that I meant to, <laughs> but that tall, dark, and handsome man, yes. talk about a chocolatey cake. Yeah. If you were a chocolate lover, my mother loves chocolate. Shout out to my mother. She loves those, like she loves a good chocolate cake. This is definitely somewhere I would recommend. So that everyone, uh, for that we do get cake for free, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, you know, that's, that's, I'm tell you, man, that's a lot of food. Yeah, that's a lot of cake. Yeah, that would have been, how much would that have been for the whole So about, about $60. But man, that's like, that's over like three, that's like three plus pounds of cake there. Oh yeah. And that is a lot. Like these are big, big, big cakes. They're well worth it though. So if you're ever in the area, guys, live here looking for a celebratory occasion, grab yourself one of these. Like I said, they sell them by the whole cake, they sell them by the slice. They have so many different cool uh, handmade items, whether it be donuts, whether it be cookies, whether it be brownies, cheesecakes, fried Oreos, they have absolutely everything. Um, so yeah, apparently the, the gentleman actually teased us. He said, if you finish that, I have dessert for you. But I'm a little confused because I thought this was like <laughs> this was dessert. dessert. So anyway, we'll figure out what that all means and uh, hop back here just momentarily. But yeah, very very good guys. Um, Want to give a huge thanks to Posh Pop here. I uh, really enjoyed everything, and uh, that's about that, guys. So apparently maybe we'll be back with something else. I don't really know. I could probably go for a coffee right now. Was, you know, it was a lot a lot of sugar. But uh, that everyone, we're back momentarily. And, all right. So yes, we did confirm. Apparently we have dessert coming for us. Um, but honestly, I have no clue what it is. We've just been waiting here. He said, just sit down, relax, and I'll bring you something. So there's waiting here anticipation, but I appreciate the, uh, holy, what the? 
Okay, okay, we got that's a tower. This is a tower of deep fried Oreos. Dude, that's a that is a tower of deep fried Oreos. Wow. Okay, all right. Nice. We got some uh, powdered sugar, it looks like. Here you go. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sugar free though, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Calorie and sugar free, I promise. Okay, yeah, I was really worried about the calories there, so. <laughs> I tell you, after after all that cake, so. Woo! All right, that yes, is, enjoy uh, it. I appreciate oh, that. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys, so deep fried Oreos. If you're not familiar with deep fried Oreos, definitely a American thing, I guess that's fair to say. I mean, you know, of course they have them all over the world now, but it's an Oreo cookie, generally deep in like some kind of a batter, like a pancake batter or something, deep fried. Again, here they are dousing them in this powdered sugar. Let me, uh, let me try to grab one off the pile. Ooh, they are hot. Ooh, but I tell you what, you so you yeah. see, I'm sure a one's cooled a little more cooled off. This one, this one, uh, maybe slightly more cooled off. So here, let me show you what it's all about, though. So again, delicious Oreo cookies, guys. If who doesn't like Oreo cookies, a little focus, maybe. And the Oreo cookies, but when you bite into it, because it's warm and hot. Oh, oh man. Woo. Oh, that's hot. Woo. The icing and the cookie like melts, so it becomes really soft. So see, this is like nice and soft and gooey. So it's like a warm, gooey Oreo. Fun fact: first one I've ever had. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. First impression. Probably one of the best Oreos I've ever had. I can yeah. tell you that much. These are like woo, a famous thing in carnivals and all like fairs, like state fairs. But this is like nice, soft and doughy. Yeah, like I said, it, it transforms the Oreo cookie from a crispy, crunchy cookie to a warm, lovely, succulent, hot piece of sexiness. That's kind of the best way I put it. Mm. Not sugar-free, not calorie-free. Let's be honest. But anyway, so you want fried Oreos? Can't. Don't wait for a state fair. Don't wait for a carnival. You just come on by Posh Pop. Very good. Mm. I will say though, that's hot. You don't need these, man. This is this is a lot. This is a lot. Same old cakes. The tower. Definitely come try the cakes. Yeah. But you know, maybe like one at a time. But it was absolutely delicious. So like I said, that's a huge thanks to them again. This is this is very hospital, uh, you know, very uh, great hospitality. Great little bonus for us. Hopefully for you guys too. Hello. I know Quinn. Do you mind if I keep Well. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. It's really good. It is. I'm actually surprised that it doesn't melt the uh, icing on the inside of the Oreo. You know. It's warm, but it's not It's not completely melted. No, it just makes it like nice, warm, kind of gushy Ooh, soft. Yeah. Perfect textures. I mean, like, it's an Oreo cookie that's deep fried. How can you really lose, lose, right? Like, how can you actually go? <laughs> I smell that. Cool, well, this shape is some dessert to finish up. Got any words? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Very good. Some of them are really, really hot though. So yeah, that's. <laughs> let them cool off a bit. Maybe that's, actually, that's probably what we should do. We'll let them yeah. cool off a little bit. We don't burn our mouths. But that one, like I said, thanks so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Posh Pop, would recommend. Yeah, I'm gonna absolutely. be back. That's for sure. And uh, until next time. Thanks for joining. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. Have a lovely day. Everyone, so happy we get started here. Um, I will say,
I'll take another. Just you can just bring me a bottle. Right. Thank you so much. Seven Eleven. That's a sign. <laughs> oh, let's try. It. Try, try that again. Oh, gee, I was really burnt. Really hot though. All right. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. That's an outtake. Yeah, that was <laughs> unexpected, guys. I just spilled boiling water on my leg. It does not. New York City subway life. Desire something when I say I want it that way. There you go. Last time I was, well, that wasn't the last time, but a while ago I was in the subway and I sang Backstreet Boys. So, ode to that. We just did it again. So, thank you, Scott. Backst Backstreet's back. That's right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody, and we are down here in New York City. Just walking down Blecker, Bleecker, Blecker Street. But uh, yeah, guys, beautiful, beautiful. It is a hell of a city. I mean, you just have so many businesses. You have so many restaurants everywhere. It is, uh, like I said, definitely quite the place. We had some, uh, some scenery here a minute ago. We kind of lost that. But nonetheless, everybody, Always good to be down here in New York City. Like I said, it's been a long, long time. A lot of fun. I'll show you some more sights, I promise.